Back in the early 1950s on Bunners Ridge near Fairmont, the main road separated a cemetery and an old haunted house. Anyone who passed by the house would get a dark, eerie feeling, and some even said that they felt an evil energy about the place. Everyone drove past the house without stopping or looking, trying to avoid arousing any evil spirits. There had been a mysterious old lady who had lived alone there until her death some two decades earlier, and she was believed to be the reason for all of it. When she was a young woman in her twenties, her husband had built the house for her as a wedding present. Not long after their second wedding anniversary, he grew very ill with fever, and all her neighbors, and even the local doctor, were certain he would not live much longer. They were so certain that he wouldn't survive that they walked over to the cemetery and dug his grave before he even died. One evening, as a visitor was leaving the house, they heard a strange rattling noise coming from the cemetery and told the wife about it. She went to an old Indian doctor who had lived up the road, and he told her that it was the angel of death calling and that the spirit would not rest until the grave was filled. When the man seemed to take a slight turn for the better, she asked her neighbors to refill the grave with dirt, hoping the rattling noise would stop, but it got even worse. The Indian doctor came to the cemetery and sprinkled a special dust around the perimeter of the graveyard and told the locals to make sure they kept the cemetery gate closed at all times, especially at night. Her husband's illness continued and got worse again, so she sat by his bedside every night, listening to the clanking of the fences as the angel of death walked along the cemetery fence line, the gate banging back and forth trying to break through the chain that held it closed. The man's condition continued to spiral downward, so she decided she could no longer care for him by herself and had him moved to the hospital in Morgantown. Exhausted from all the care she had given her husband, the first night after the transfer she went to bed just as soon as the sun set, figuring she would finally get a peaceful night's sleep. Much to her disappointment, the strange noises began not long after her head hit the pillow and seemed to get louder and louder and louder. All of a sudden, the noise seemed to come right through the fence and dissipated as it seemed to travel further down the road towards Morgantown. The next morning, a passerby found the woman sobbing at the gate of the graveyard, where she had been all night. Even though no one had told her he died, she cried out, He's dead! My husband's dead! The hearse, which arrived later that morning, wasn't quite as long as the ambulance that carried the man to the hospital had been so the driver didn't have to open the cemetery gate to have enough room to turn around when he left.